anytime like a female interacts with Connor, they're like, oh my God, Iron Mouse, Iron Mouse. Oh no, Iron Mouse. Oh no. It's like, what the fuck? Cringe. Weird. Huh? Ah, you never thought I was going to talk about this, huh? Huh? Never th thought I didn't notice, huh? Of course I notice. Of course I read comments. But then it makes me feel bad because I read comments like that. And I think about how much it must hurt another person to see comments of themselves being written out like that. Like, to be written out to be some sort of like crazy character that's obsessed over a person. It, it, it's sad. It makes me feel bad. It's like, I get it. You know, it's entertainment, you know? It's entertainment. And it's all fun and games, you know? But sometimes people take fun and games a little bit too seriously and a little bit too far. You know? You have to take into consideration that everyone has feelings. You know? Just as much as we respect your feelings... You know, I respect people's feelings for how they feel about viewing me and a friendship with somebody. I, I respect their feelings, you know? And I, I think it's funny. And I think it's cute sometimes. But sometimes things get taken very far. And sometimes I worry about, you know, the feelings of other people that get involved because people like to write these weird... Fantastical narratives that, you know, people are jealous or people are upset and it just just makes me feel sad It's just like when I saw, uh, when I saw the tweet The AX tweet and, uh It made me sad to see all, like, the negative reactions because people were so worried And it's like You guys shouldn't be worried. Just enjoy what's gonna happen and just be happy for us because we were really happy we were really happy but it made us sad to see all those responses because like you know well i i get it i get it you guys are worried but i think i think we have to be more worried because we're the actual people going through it you know but we're not because we're adults and we know how to handle situations and, like I said, you guys know that Connor is an expert at dodging uncomfortable questions. He's an expert. He's an expert dodger. He's really good. He's actually teached me things. He's taught me a lot of things. He's like, listen, when somebody asks you this, you gotta say this. And I'm like, ah, 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 okay, I know, I know. He's been, he's been in this business longer than me, so he knows a lot of stuff. So when he tells me things, I listen. Not saying that he's super smart, and sometimes he makes mistakes too. But, uh, for the most part, he's taught me a lot. And, uh, you know. <clears throat> I appreciate everyone. I appreciate, uh, people that watch us and support us. I appreciate, like, all, like, the responses. I appreciate all, like, the fan art and fan stuff. And I, you know, I, I, I find it amusing when I read speculations and, like, comments and stuff. I think it's cute and I think it's funny. But sometimes people take it in a direction that's a little bit too much. And it makes me, it makes me sad and it makes me worry about other people. Because I know for me, I don't really care. For me, I don't really care. As long as you don't do anything that makes me extremely uncomfortable, I don't... I'm, I'm fine with things. Because I know who I am, and I know where... how things are, and, uh... You know, I know... I... I just... I know things, you know? And, uh... I know things. And I'm... and I'm secure in my knowing, you know? But I... Not a lot of people are like that. I know things. Ooh! Ooh! Christ. 
Christ Mass Joker! <laughs> Christmas Joker, thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, thank you. Uh, I like, I don't know. You know, so... I, I would like to discourage anyone... From asking cringe questions... Uh, in the future. Especially at a public event. Because that'll make many people very uncomfortable. And also, you know, a lot of people will ask questions, but it's like... You know, we like... People like privacy, you know? Even if something ever happens... Ain't no one gonna talk about it, you know? You keep your... You keep your private life private. And you keep your work life... On the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah, keep your privates private. <laughs> yeah, keep your privates private. You know what I mean? Keep your privates private and keep your... <laughs> private. Is it true that you're Chris Broad? That's not... That's not a secret. That is truth. Factual information. But yeah, uh, you know... It's, it, it's just like... It's like when I see clips of me... Even when I interact... When I interact with, uh... Other males. Quote, unquote. And, uh, I see comments of like... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! She's... Oh no! What is she doing? It's like... I'm having a conversation with somebody. 